closed canopy gardening. Every inch of your soil that's covered with leaves is making is photosynthesis happening, making more production, biomass and, and product. So a lot of my gardening is meant to be that you can hardly see the paths partway through the season. It's just like solid uh, plants. So this is not 100% covered here because we just harvested a lot of spinelanthes that had volunteered in the path path here. So uh, we have lovage and we have worm seed or epizote. We've got those peppers here going into this guild. We've got rue. We've got leeks. We've got horseradish. Here's some more uh, leeks. There's asparagus up here. Uh, garlic chives, columbine, holy basil, echinacea, bicol skullcap, runner beans on the fence, and uh, summer savory, and I see, what do I see over there? A blue vervain and uh, lavender. Anyway, you can see a little bit of dirt here, but not too much. But this is a little bit more open than I'm uh, trying to show you. Let's look at some other spots. There's a, a row of hyssop under here. Um, and you can see it emerged down there. It's partly covered, but it'll come back next year. This is burdock seed, you know, burdock root. You know, and I'm going to have huge burdock roots. The bigger the leaf, the bigger the root. So I'm going to have huge burdock roots. This row is a row of grape plants catching out there. But in between the grape plants, because they're not big this year, I've got potato plants. So I've got potatoes, 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 grape. More potatoes, so it's grapes and potatoes. On this side here is a teasel, which is a medicinal root for Lyme disease. So that's one of my herb products. Uh, then over a little bit further this way is the raspberries. Let's see if we can find a unpicked one. At any rate, we have huge red raspberries here coming on, but we picked most of them yesterday. And then over here is a row of black currants. So eventually the burdock will come out. It's just a one year crop potatoes will come out and then this will I'll be I'll be figuring new ways of what to put in here so that next year the our main perennials will get bigger and eventually will um, there'll be a new assemblage of plants so it changes over time but we close canopies the goal ah here I am stroking the lovely chase tree this is what the monks used to take in the middle ages Vitex agnus costus, but they find it's great for menopause women. And you know what? There's a lot more menopausal women than monks anymore. So mainly that's where my market is now. But it makes these berries, bright purple berries. But at any rate, the reason we're here is this is closed canopy number three. So we're looking across a little chunk of the garden here. And this is going to be an agroforestry system. It's on the way. So this is a small tree from the Mediterranean. Hyssop herb is from the Mediterranean. I got a seed crop here. Aronia berry. I got aronia berries on down the way here is for its medicinal fruit and culinary fruit. Here's a potato all died back so this was all filled with potato vine a minute a little while ago but I'll be digging up potatoes here. Here is uh, this is a volunteer radish. And so it's just making more radish seeds. I just have all the radishes you ever could want just come up around the place. And so it's one of the weeds. But this one gets to live here because it makes good beef, you know, bee forage and uh, insect with all the flowers. I got a wild tomato here, volunteer tomato. And uh, there's a mulberries. These, uh, these will be the tallest trees in the system, but these are all mulberries here. A number of them in, in the background there, way back here, is the, um, the eastern black cherry. This will be a major, one of the top story trees. And this is a blue elderberry here, a native blue elderberry thicket that's spreading out. Uh, so there's a lot of trees and shrubs in this section. And in between, here's a Tomotillo volunteer in this section here, there are more potatoes. Uh, so it almost becomes like wild crafting in this closed canopy garden here. This is a wilder stretch. 
in here. I put down a heavy mulch uh, in between, so I feed lots of critters down here in the understory. So uh, I don't have a problem with weeds per se. I just let some of the selected things survive and pull up the ones I don't want. And it's, it's uh, starting to uh, develop pretty good. This is its third year, uh, but eventually this will be a big agroforestry. Oh, I just I, I mentioned the honey locust here. Actually, you got two nitrogen fixers here, honey locust, which is actually, technically, they say even though it's a legume, they're not sure it fixes the nitrogen. But the, uh, it grows like it. This is a Shepherdia argentia, or silverberry. It's a nitrogen fixer from the Great Plains. Super tough. This is, uh, when I bought it, was supposedly a thornless honey locust, but this is a thorny one, so they don't grade very well. Uh, but I'm letting it grow anyway because I wanted a honey locust here. So I'll be pruning it up next year to a central leader and have the thorny branches way up there and so you can walk around under it. So, um, of course, this little companion shrub here growing next to it uh, is thorny enough as it is. So actually, this is just a thorny spot. And interestingly enough, here's the gooseberry, also very thorny. So this is the thorny part of the garden. Uh, it's a bit of, you can see what else we have here. We have burdock, this one's trying to go to seed. We've got squash. Take a look at this understory here. Oh yeah, uh, oh yeah, here's a, here's a nice uh, squash. One of my hybrids, I'm breeding up different kinds of squash here. So uh, that's in the understory. And you can see there's a lot of calendula here. It's, uh, the calendula is all volunteer, but I let it grow. And so I harvest the flowers and I'll be harvesting seed pods here soon too. So multiple uh, fruiting here. This is mulberry next door. Mulberry also with a nitrogen fixing shrub, another Shepherdia argentia. And more hyssop on the understory. And here's some more of our deep mulch system. And we just show all kinds of matter, or all kinds of organic matter, way under here. If you like this sort of thing, come on out to the forums at permies.com where we talk about full canopy gardening, homesteading, and permaculture all the time. <laughs>